So hello people, this is Most Car Vlog and check this out. In front of me is a BMW M3 Touring, but you wouldn't be watching Most Car Vlog if it would be any ordinary BMW M3 Touring. This one here is completely tuned with warranty and everything legal and it looks just superb. And in today's video, I will review it to you and take it out for a drive to see how it performs. So let's start off here at the review. The color we have is the beautiful fire orange. Just look at it. And we've got the M stripings here on the hood. At the front, we've got the beautiful carbon fiber exterior package, giving us this little thing here in carbon fiber. On the normal one, there is no carbon fiber, which looks super, super good. We don't have any M performance parts on this one, but as you can see, we don't really need them. Just look at this front. We've got the beautiful BMW laser lights, which are a must have in my opinion on this car because without them, it just has a different look and those lights are actually superb at night. Look at the big grill. People are still talking about it. I love it absolutely. And it is for cooling, especially because the engine we now have in this one here puts out 590 horsepower instead of the stock 510 horsepower, which is, you can't really feel it at lower speeds, but at higher speeds, in my Autobahn video, you can see it. This thing just keeps pulling and pulling and pulling. It doesn't stop. Look at those amazing wheels we have here. 20 inch at the front, 21 inches at the back, 285 section tires at the front. The amazing carbon ceramic brake because we have the M-Track package spec on this one. One of the best brakes out there. Absolutely no doubt about that. We've got KW Springs on this one, which gives it a better stance, which gives this mean look. And it also drives absolutely amazing. It feels like a little sports car. Part of the carbon fiber exterior package is this M3 here in carbon fiber at the side. The beautiful mirror caps here in carbon fiber. And just look at it here from the side, especially that wheel arch at the back, which is insane. Let's check out the engine at the front before we complete. Look at this. This is the engine of the BMW M3 Touring. The S58, a 3-liter inline six-cylinder bi-turbo, which can be tuned to insane numbers. And this one, we have 590 horsepower, and it's showing us the little curve here, which is also super, super good looking. We've got the struts, but those are stock on the M3, and I think it just looks amazing. This also sounds amazing because we got a different tuned exhaust, which you will see at the back. and. Oh, I can't wait to take it out for a drive. Let's continue. Isn't this one of the best looking side profiles in the world, actually? I'm not really an estate fan, but just look at this thing. This is not an estate. This is not a so-called touring. This thing is just mean. It's kind of like with the RS6, where the estate variant just works perfectly. This is it. Just look at it here from the side. I can't believe what I'm looking at. What I absolutely adore and love about the BMW M3, which even the M4 doesn't have, is that white arch. If you've got a Touring or a sedan, it doesn't matter. You will get that white arch. Just look at this. It is so, so massive. These rims, 21 inches at the back, 305 section tires. And look at it, you've got to be super, super careful because they are actually looking out here. Can you see that? You've got to be super careful with these rims. But look at the look they are giving to this car. Look at it here. It just looks, oh my God, I can't believe it. It looks like a tuning monster. It looks like it's supposed to be on some kind of car show. Big thanks to my friend Andre from ProCup for giving me this car. He knows what I love and this is the kind of car I need to review to you. Just look at this and now let's move on to the rear. Just look at that super white arch here from the back with those amazing rims. And this is what it's all about since this is the M3 Touring. Look at that back. It looks so, so amazing. The boot is also pretty, pretty good. We've got 500 liters of space inside of this boot inside of this boot. Look at this carbon fiber package. That's why we get the carbon fiber diffuser. But as you can read here, Akrapovich, we've got an amazing carbon fiber Akrapovich titanium exhaust. And it just sounds amazing. You will listen to that in a second. And check this out. We can just open up the glass. We don't have to open up the whole rear. This is for when we are like in kind of kind of in a garage or something like this, and we can't open the whole tailgate. Then you just open up the glass, get your stuff out, put your stuff in, and that's it. And this is how we open up the whole thing. We press here, and then we are greeted by the 500 liters of space. Yes, it's currently getting used a lot by this 
by this thing here, which could basic, which is basically enough to put it on a whole plane, but this is it. 500 liters of space, the M3 Touring from the back. Let's jump inside. So people, moving on to the rear, look at the door. We've got the extended leather package, so we've got leather up here. We've got the Harman Kardon sound speakers. We've got aluminum buttons for our window switch and for our door. And look at this. Oh my God. The carbon fiber bucket seats, they look out of this world, especially from the back. And let's see how the space is in this rear. It's actually quite decent here in the rear. You can tickle the passenger in front of you and we've got a decent amount of space. We've got our own climate zone, two USB-C ports. Absolutely good in here. Let's go to the front. So people check the door out at here at the front. We've got the extended leather package, as I've mentioned, also aluminum in here, memory seat functions, and the Harman Kardon sound speakers here, and a perfect place to put your bottles. M3 door sill here, and those amazing carbon fiber bucket seats. Look at them. They are a little bit hard to get in and out of, but it's actually pretty, pretty good. It's not so hard. And, when, and once you sit in them, they are probably the best seats in the market, honestly, they are so nice to sit in, so comfortable. I've also done long distance journeys with them and absolutely no problem at all. And look at this, we've got different kind of gauge clusters. We can also change it to sport, for example, once I start up the engine, look at this. Now I can set it to this gauge cluster here, which looks also really, really good. And look at that, did you see this? There is an actual orange M3 in here. So we've got the settings for our engine, our suspension, our steering, our brakes, our X-Drive. We can set it to two-wheel drive and we can also play with the traction control here. Once we back out of this, we've got here our menu with our favorite widgets that we can preset in here like on a smartphone. And look at this. This is my absolute favorite, the vehicle data. Just look at this. This M3 is actually in orange. And look at this. When I turn on the hazards here, look at this. Isn't that amazing? This car is showing what I'm exactly doing right now, what I absolutely love. And look at this. Once we back out of this, we go to here and there's our apps. And this is the complicated part because look at this. It's actually self-explanatory, but I think when you are driving, it's kind of hard to find your stuff. But that's why you can preset it and put it in here so you don't have to worry about that. So people, I think that's enough talking. Let's take this beautiful M3 Touring out for a drive. So people, let's now take out the M3 Touring for a drive. Let's go. Oh, listen to that Akrapovich exhaust. And you will hear a lot of that because I put a little camera on the back. And then, then you can check out how this beautiful exhaust sounds from the rear. So people, as you can see, the carbon bucket seat is actually heated. Despite us having such a sporty seat, first of all, it's heated. And second of all, it is so, so comfortable to sit in it. Once you are inside of it, it is so amazing. It's just the getting in and out of it is a little bit hard. We are currently in the efficient and the comfort for everything. So the most comfortable setting for this car. And as you can see, it is really, really good. It is super silent. You don't feel that it's tuned at all. The only thing that you feel are those big rims because it's a little bit stiff. But other than that, you can daily drive this thing no problem at all, even though it is completely tuned. Let's now put it into the Sport a little bit. Not the Sport Plus yet, just the Sport and listen to those burbles a little. So people, let's now give it a little bit of throttle here. Look at this. <laughs> the pops and bangs, and that's a hundred already. What a thing. This thing just pulled and it sounds so, so good, honestly. Listen to that. Oh my God. And 
that's not even in the Sports Plus yet. So for those of you who didn't get it, we got bigger rims on this one. We got a new suspension kit on this one. We got an Akrapovic exhaust on this one. And we've got a stage one to this one. And basically that sums up the whole package. A fully equipped stock M3 Touring with the carbon bucket seats, carbon ceramic brakes, everything you could wish for. And then even more improvements with this tuning. And I'm gonna show it to you how it sounds, how it pulls. And if you want to see the top speed of this thing, make sure to check out my Audemann video and subscribe to see more videos like this one. So they've preset the M2 button to make everything Sport Plus, as you can see. And this is what I'm gonna do now. I have to shift manually though, but let's do that here. Oh, the, the pops and bangs, it is just so amazing. It's so torquey as well. You don't have to rev it so much that you have power. It always has pressure and torque. Okay, full throttle now. Oh, what a thing this is. And it sounds so amazing for a 3 liter straight six that's basically brand new, a 2024 car. It, those pops and bangs. thing this is ladies and gentlemen steering wheel is really nice to hold those carbon fiber shift pedals are amazing because i can also shift from down here which is also helpful they are not so small those shift pedals and always got the torque the sound let's change the gauge cluster here for you put it into the m mode sport and then we have this gauge cluster listen to those pops and bangs here with me oh my god first gear oh ho, ho. Well, let's turn around here. I have to be a bit careful with the rims. Normally I just drive up here with every other car, especially with SUVs. But here on this one, since I've showed you that the rim sticks out of the wheel, I have to be super careful here. As you can see people, this is our 360 degree backup camera, which is so, so perfect, especially with those rims. You can see everything and it's basically bulletproof. Let's now go back here. Let's now go back here and try to do a launch control because no one is behind me currently and that's just a perfect opportunity for a launch control. So people, let's now do a launch control of the tuned BMW M3 Touring. Let's go. Preparing launch. Let's go. Oh my God. That felt not stock. M3 Touring. Let's go. Preparing launch. Let's go. Oh my God. That felt tuned. Oh my god, what an insane acceleration! Oh my goodness! And the torque and the power is always there. The traction was also there despite us having the DSC off, and it's a little bit damp. What a beautiful car and imagine you can put all your groceries, all your kids, all your dogs back there and drive like this. We've got a ZF 8 speed automatic in this one and it basically shifts like a dual clutch. It is so, so good. You don't feel that you have a torque converter and those Let's give it full throttle here. Just look at this. Kick down and boost, boost, boost. <sighs> Torque, boost, everything, everything. It basically feels like driving a really, really good sports car, not just a normal sports car. This feels, this, this is supercar levels fast, honestly. Those pops and bangs. thing is just so fun to drive. Oh 
my goodness! So when I put it into the sport, it has got the pops and bangs and the sound. It's just a little more silent in here, but I think from the outside it should be the same. What I also really like is the brake that you can put it into the sport. It will electronically help you to reduce basically the power you need to put into brake. And that will make it feel more sportier. Oh people, I will just give you a little sound check here in the woods and give it a couple of refs. Let's just hear this. Oh my god. That's insane. That's insane. Oh my god. So people, let's finish off this review now with a final launch control of this insane vehicle. And thank you so much for watching already. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Let's go. Launch control. Oh my God, what a... <laughs> this is so fun. This is so fun. It feels like an electric car, honestly. You, I still got to show you this one. The S, the adaptive driving on this car is really, really, it's super smart. It will also turn and switch lanes for you. And that's, that's also something I really, really like about this car. The adaptive driving, the adaptive cruise control is also really amazing. Yeah, I know it's kind of a little bit off coming from a launch control to the adaptive cruise control but that's also got to be mentioned. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.